I'm gonna do a filler giveaway. My life be like. What's up, babes? I know you guys are like, wait, wait, what the hell is going on, Lily? Why do you look like that? But you guys, I I'm here in Houston, Texas, and I came to get some filler done with the one and only Dun Dun Dun. I'm gonna leave her down below. If you're an OG, then you remember I've gotten things done with her like four years ago right yeah so we were out here and i was like yo i want to go in like you know to get some work done or whatever um that i've done in the past which is my nose i'm gonna leave it in i'm gonna leave a picture here of how it was before and then this is the after right now uh, but she is about to do some chin filler because she says i would be a perfect candidate for this so i'm super excited because i see it all the time online and i see the transformation so i'm excited and as you guys can tell no thing of us because we've been partying all freaking weekend but all right stay tuned so you guys can see what's going on What happened, babe? Did it hurt? Mm -mm, not at all. What'd you feel? Nothing? Her hands, like, touching my face. That's it. You want to get some chin filler too, babe? Mm. You can do your Botox? So He's done it once, but I feel like they did too much on him. It scarred me. So it scarred him and he stopped doing it. Wait, what happened? <laughs> her filler, it's gonna start to expand. So within like the next three days, she's gonna see more like projection mm -hmm. and more sharpness in her whole jawline and chin. Okay, it's gonna be pretty. Okay. I already see. No, it's pretty good. Sharpness. Mm -hmm. It's gonna look snatched, it's more snatched. snatched. So I gotta do that to her every now and then? No, no me toques. <laughs> well, she's not gonna sleep for the next 24 hours. We gotta drive. Lily quedó mal. ¿Qué me dice, George? ¿Qué se hizo, güey? Yo creo que si abres la puerta. What? Yeah. Espérate. <laughs> Te voy a contar una historia. Abres la puerta mm. para entrar aquí, ¿verdad? Mm. Primero entra en los labios y luego entra en el I hate you. <laughs> no. No me hice los labios. No. Esos son naturales. Right, intenta otra vez. Salió mal. Salió mal. You got one more. One more try. Turn around. Ah, oh, pues ya. Ya le vi el okay. piquetón. Se hizo el chin y la nariz. Ya la vi. A ver. Del 1 al 10. Del 1 al 10, ¿qué tanto te dolió? No, nada. No, no, oh, God, no. algo yeah. dolió. What? Maybe the numbing. Something had to hurt, no? No, nothing. Nothing? She, she numbs it different. She does it like a syringe. Oh. And instead of the cream, okay. Is it like so a mosquito bite? Crema. Y esa crema para nomearte. Nomearte. No. Para nomearte. Para que no te duela. No, no. Ah, ajá. Como que no sirve como lo que ella hace. Ella, ella, cuando le pone. No sientes nada. I convinced somebody to do Botox again. Alright, we came to Camille. 
see you guys. You see the vibes, right? Uh, we came to Pluckers. You already know we always come to Pluckers. But I'm gonna make Jorge try one of the what is it called, babe? Fire in the home. Fire in the home. Cause we're gonna see his reaction. Are you guys ready? Get this one. No. Is this one? Agarra esa esa. Well, chiquita. Chiquita. Oh, tiene un chingo de chile. ¿Esta Por también eso. es? No, 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 no esa, esa, esa es esta. No, no, esa. No, no, esa. Está agarrando la que tiene menos, güey. Los sacos de los sacatecas no se rajan. Tiene o no, eso, eso no. Calma. Sabe un chingo de chile esta mierda. Dale, sí. Saborealo, papá. Toda. Saborealo. Ey, falta que ni le piquen. Está secado. ¿Tú tienes el rey guay? Aquí se asusta, ¿no? ¿Es, ¿Eso es el máximo que trae? Yeah. ¿Es todo? Si es que la agarras es correcta. ¿Cómo no? Sí, está picosilla, pero no... Ya ven, los de Texas... Uh, no, no. All of these people from Texas were like, oh, you're gonna die, you're gonna die when you try it, but... Yo soy de Taiwán, ¿de qué hablas? ¿De dónde? <laughs> Thailand. Anyway, cheers. Oh. They're spicy, but they're good, you know? Later. Totally forgot to tell you guys that we came to visit some of my family out here in Houston. And we're about to leave. Uh, we are all driving back to Tampa, as you guys see. I'm taking the first shift, helping out my sister. So, I'm gonna know, I'm gonna know. Um, A lot of people were asking me why I didn't drive with my family this way to Houston. And it's because Mando and I had already bought our tickets. We had no idea that everybody was gonna be down to come, especially like my sister, my cousins. They're not the type to just get up and go, you know? So once they did, we were like, ah, oh, well, we already got our flights. But um, luckily, since they got canceled, I told Mando, just buy one-way tickets, that way we can help everybody out on the way back. Because I was a little bit freaking out of them driving by themselves throughout the night. And I was like, if me and Mando go, we can help them, you know? So yeah, we're about to leave. All right, we are leaving. Are you guys ready? So, wish us luck. We have a 13 slash 15 hour drive it's back. 18, to, it's 18 with oh, kids. 18 hour drive back to it's Florida. Pelo, I know, I'm sorry. It's been a little rough this It's weekend. been a rough ass <laughs> fucking weekend. Yeah. Right? It's rough. My sister couldn't keep up after one day. Tell them, Yeran. I was like, you know what? This influencer life is not for me. It's not. You guys are working all the time. Yeah, I think I just, I just got. Just it's not. Up. It's not like you guys are on a vacation. Yeah. Like I you, always say that. When to you people. see these influencers out and meet and greets, bro, like, yeah, they're having a good time because they're meeting all their fans and all their supporters. You know, all the people who follow them and like enjoy their content. But at the same time, it's like they're not on their schedule. They're on yeah. somebody else's schedule. They gotta keep up. Mm -hmm. You gotta wake up at a certain time. You gotta make sure you're ready at a certain time. You gotta leave the house at a certain time. You gotta be, you know, presentable, and it's yeah. just like it's on go. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I get up, I brush my hair, maybe I don't. I do my makeup, maybe I don't. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm. And imagine having before like to prep for it, to look for outfits. Yeah, and... all the all the all the work that goes into it before. Yeah. Getting to where you need to get to the Airbnb, mm -hmm. packing, flying, booking shit. Yeah. Makeup artist, hairstylist, got no, I can't. Yeah, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. No, literally. I'm glad you saw that side now. <laughs> no, I, I mean... What I, did you think before it was like... Honestly, I never really put any thought into it. I didn't, I didn't really didn't think anything much. But I guess now that I saw like the bigger picture, it's like, oh no. Like these people are working. And like we're eating breakfast when we were at the Airbnb. We were eating breakfast and like one of the guys was on his computer editing. Another mm -hmm. one was like on on like tiktok live or something mm -hmm. and i'm like man like these people don't get a break because like melissa said like you have to stay relevant yeah you got to keep up so you have to you can't just take a week off because you need a mental break yeah no because people are gonna be like where you at where you at where you at where oh, you yeah. at where you at you know and i know they, they would understand if you needed that break but yeah, at the yeah. same time like they they're so used to like knowing, sometimes you don't even want to tell them yeah you know you're, they're so used to being in your life in your business in all aspects of your life mm -hmm. that when you don't include them in it they're gonna wonder mm -hmm. you know so that's that's something that i never really put into perspective this is my energy for tonight is the update it's 3 50 a.m we're about to get into mississippi but my cousin got pulled over so Willie. i don't know so we pulled over a little bit. 
Good morning, babes. I've been up. I've been up. I started driving again. I slept like two hours, and yeah, we are about five, six hours away from Tampa. Um, I'm good. I'm like 100% good. I don't feel tired at all. I might look tired, but I'm not tired. And yes, my nose is red from the filler. Let's see how Mondo's doing. He's so tired. He did drive a lot, but he usually can sleep less. What's going on, babe? I'm ready to get home. There comes the squad. My brother's turn to drive. Luna's wide awake. Look at her. Camila, how are you? Give my good side. Give my good side. Where'd you find that lock at? She got boogies. Say, I just woke up and I'm crying and I don't yeah, know yeah, it's What's up you guys? Yeah, estamos en la noche and I totally forgot to update you guys. We made it home. Uh, the family was here. Uh, my tias, tios, everybody, they came through. They made carne asada, pito de gallo. Uh, they brought dessert. Jenny made uh, rice. My dad made pasta salad. Everybody has been taking naps throughout the day. I have not because, you know, I'm hosting. Um, but, yeah, I'm super excited to be back. Shout out to everybody that met us up in Houston. And, yeah, stay tuned for the Lily and Bay vlog. Ahí es donde vamos a poner todo, 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 todo. So, see you guys later. Bye. All right, all right, all right. You girls already know that whenever Lily Bay get something done or buy something i always try to give back to you guys and today i'm super excited to announce that i am gonna do a filler giveaway for all you people out in houston or surrounding areas whoever wants to go out there um all you gotta do is check out my last post on instagram and all the rules will be down there girl you can get some new lips maybe get your nose done if you want to get it done like myself so check it out and good luck to everybody bye